Hey guys, Chris Fate with Cheat the Game coming back at you. Today I got kind of a off the wall uh, tut here and uh, I had asked my friend Free ER about this but I kind of figured it out before he was able to get back to me about it. And uh, before I get really deep into it, uh, we're going to be looking at Star Ocean, The Last Hope. It's a really strange way to look up these values uh, they are really hard to find even though they're exact I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in just a minute but I want to throw the shout out over at the fearless cheat engine website uh, these guys here uh, drummer IX which is drummer 9 or prefers to go by drummer IX I don't know but uh, I want to throw him the shout out for his cheat table and if you want a cheat table for it uh, he's got tons and tons and tons of cheats on here. Uh, go check it out. I'll put the link for that in the description. <clears throat> but when you go to search for these values, they are 4-byte exact value. And they are. But when you go to search for them, they do not show up at all. So I had to look up pointers and, you know, find pointers. And I was sitting there looking at the pointers and seeing the values. And I was wondering why I could not scan for those. And so I had used Drummer IX's AOBs from his cheat table to find where the health code was being stored. So that's why I'm giving him full credit for this. I did not find this myself. I used his script, uh, his AOBs in his script to find where health was being stored at or written to. And I kind of reversed it that way. But um, I wanted to find out what the problem was and why Cheat Engine was not able to find this value. And I'm going to do this for you and show you. And I read something. I marked it down here that he had written on here. And I want to thank him for this. And I need to find it again. I think it here. Here, right here. It says, I would try enabling kernel mode in the extra part of settings for Cheat Engine. This game would not let me search for cheats without that. And that's the problem I was having as well. If you have it on VEH debugger or Windows debugger, it will not find these dynamic addresses holding these exact values on 4 byte. You will not find them that way. And I was even having trouble finding when I put it on kernel debug, but that was my fault. I forgot to reboot Cheat Engine, and you have to do that. And my computer will not allow the use of using the kernel debugger. I can't put an uh, actual debugger on a process or an address to find the opcodes. So I had to figure out some kind of workaround for that. And that's what I'm going to show you on how I was able to find, actually search for the values and find them. And like I said, I didn't originally do that. I originally got that from Drummer. I X based off his cheat table so I'm giving him full credit and honors for that that's how I originally found them and then I just kind of reversed it from there and went and found the values uh, the correct way using kernel debug and we're going to do that now I'm going to show you how to do it in case you might run across this in the future or even with this game uh, sometimes you may run into that problem and it's the first time I've ever ran into it so I don't think it's a widespread thing but with these newer games it could be a problem in the future I don't know but at least you have another option uh, when you're not sure so let me go ahead and bring everything on up and I'll be right back with you Okay, I'm not going to bring Cheat Engine up yet. I'm going to go ahead and get over to an enemy location because you have two different locations that health is being stored uh, for this game. And the only place it's really truly active, well, thus far in the game, I haven't really played through it. It's, I'm still at the beginning, is uh, in battle. And that's where we normally, in these type games, uh, will try to find this. Uh, health and magic and things like that is where they're actually active at and similar to Final Fantasy uh, the best places to find that is when you're actually in battle however when you're out of battle those addresses basically turn off and then they turn back on once you're in battle sometimes those addresses change when you go to a new battle or a new loading screen or a new map so let me go ahead and uh, load my game on up. I'm using a controller to do this, so kind of bear with me if I'm switching back and forth between the keyboard and a controller. And I'm going to use this one right here. As you can see, I found the XP, so I'm already put my guy up to level 200. And I wanted to do that on purpose for this video because I want to find my character's health value. And having a health value that's really, really high is easier to find and won't... Uh, won't have as many addresses and that's why I did that let me go ahead and bring cheat engine on up right now 
it's loading up this but what I want to do is make sure that uh, VEH debugger is on first so I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna go over here to extra and turn these off these can only be on for kernel debug so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK put it back on VEH debugger and we're gonna go ahead and uh, shut that back off and bring it back up hopefully that saved it did so let's make sure still on VEH good so let's go ahead and I just want to show you this I'm gonna go ahead and attach the game to Star Ocean or cheat engine to it alrighty so here's what we got so far and I got pointers to kind of help us out here and that's what we're going to be looking at right now is these pointers and we're just going to be concentrating on health edge is the name of the main hero and we're going to be concentrating on his health and we're going to be using these pointers to guide us right now so I want to thank drummer again for the use of his script to you know kind of help me out in finding this and making this uh, vid possible it's all thanks to him so make sure to go over to fearless and give him thanks from Chris Fade to cheat the game for me all right so let's go ahead and uh, get started and I'm gonna bring this up <clears throat> Now, it will not find the pointers right away. It will not find the pointers until we're actually in battle. And that's what we're going to go do is go directly to an enemy. So, give me just a second here. Let's just hit one of these spiders right here. There we go. All right. And I'm just going to hit a menu screen and it kind of in pauses the game. And you see right here, I got a very high health value. Let me uh, click off of it and highlight it. 50264. So I got it up really high. And I want to show you. But even with it at 200, it was doing this. It is exact value, as you can see right here. Here's the pointer. Here's the address for health. Four bytes. And here it is being as high level as you can go. 50264. So I'm going to search for that value, 50264, and we're going to first scan it. Why don't you take a look? Found 27. Now we're just going to bypass this. We already know what the address is, and we're going to try to find that address. Take a look. Nowhere. You will not find it at all. You can do this over and over and over again. You can put it on float. You can put it on anything else. You can go put it on Windows Debugger. Nothing, 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 nothing. The way we had to do this is we had to put on kernel debug. Some reason it is negating VEH debugger to find scan the addresses. However, I can use VEH to actually use the health code. If you see here, if I turn on my health code. That places a debugger on it. Or if I place a debugger on the address, find out what accesses it. It places the debugger on it just fine. Take a look. We can look at it all day long. So it's not really something that's prohibiting the debugger. The debugger's just not finding the address. <laughs> it's a weird one. I'm telling you right now, it's weird. So what I need to do is I need to go ahead and bring up a fresh cheat engine. I still have this one up with VEH. I'm going to change the settings on it, go to debugger options, and I'm going to change this to kernel debug. I'm going to extra. I'm going to click all three of these on right here, okay? Click OK. It's going to load up uh, DBK64, and what we need to do, we need to close it back down and bring it back up. Make sure it loads that up, and we're going to go ahead and attach that to Star Ocean as well. Now, what I want to do is I want to come over here and I want to research again at 40264. So we'll first scan it. Now take a look. Look how many addresses we're getting now. And finally, if we scroll on down a bit, here it is, 1B89804, there it is double click on it and there's our address but we could not find it this way doing the exact same thing which is weird now if I go put a debugger on this 
find out what access the address it's gonna crash the game down because I cannot use kernel mode debug so what I had to do was I had to transition just copy and paste over to my VEH debugger and paste it in there like this and I had to use my VEH cheat engine to find what's accessing the address if I use this one it crashed me down so you may have to do that and you just kind of have to work around it in that fashion so once we got over there and I was able to find out what was accessing the address I came across this particular opcode right here that's only running my different uh, myself and my allies so once I put uh, find out what address is it's only myself and allies and enemies are not going through that now it's gonna lag my system a little bit because of all the buggers going on real fast so I'm sorry about that and I'm just gonna hit one and you see enemies do not pop up so that's where I write my code let's go ahead and turn all that off right quick and now we can go ahead and hack it like normal. We go to our dissect data and look for a particular offset that we can, or we, I'm sorry, we don't even have to do that. We don't, but what I do is I went there, in there and found their caps and everything like that. And what I did, and I'm not getting into it. Everybody at this stage that follows me should know. When I found the cap. Well, we can go do it this way. Um, browse this memory region and it carries us to that location and change the display type to four byte decimal and as you can see here here's my health here's my magic going 10 back here is my XP and if you look right here here's my cap and here's my magic cap and I just had my magic cap which is located at offset 14 once I brought it in the uh, excuse me I'm sorry dissect data I was able to go ahead and write the script for it, which is uh, the Symphony Help script right here. I just barred a registry. I had the cat write to RAX. I had RAX write to my normal health, and that's doing it to all my allies. So infinite health and enemies are not going through this particular area. So we got infinite health. But I just wanted to bring this to everybody's attention. I know this has been rather quick, and uh, I really wanted to show you guys how you can get around this and have two different cheat engines going on at once with two different debuggers. You won't have to do this too often and it may glitch on you a little bit here and there and you just might have to keep trying but that's how we were able to do it. And as you see we finally were able to locate these values via the kernel debugger. However even though my computer don't allow me to use kernel debugger itself we can still use it to scan for values that the other debuggers are not finding. So I wanted to go ahead and uh, bring that to everybody's attention. Let me go ahead and close this on down. I'm kind of glitching out right now. I don't want to save any changes. Good. Thanks for holding, guys. I appreciate it. But I wanted to bring that to your attention. I just found that really weird and off the wall there. And uh, and we found a work away, uh, a workaround with it. And I had to use two different cheat engines with two completely different debuggers. So uh, that's the first time I ever ran into that. But that just goes along with the theme of what we've been saying all along. Sometimes you just got to go outside of the box. Sometimes take extreme measures. You know, things you never even thought of before to sometimes find these values. I mean, uh, they really try to make it very tricky for you to find. They encrypt them. I mean, you never know what you're going to run into. So, and uh, you you got so many different ways you can find these values now these are for values that are stored on your computer if it is stored on a server well you're gonna to have to go by other means and cheat engine probably not gonna be able to help you out too much so these are for mostly offline games hopefully within a week or so uh, maybe a couple of weeks uh, we're gonna start hacking in and seeing about getting us uh, some hacks in for Assassin's Creed Origins. I'll be getting that very soon. I'm aching to take a look at it. I don't know if I'll need to use some anti hack bypasses or not. We'll just take a look and see as we go. I'm thinking about maybe doing another one of those uh, things like I did with Dishonor 2 and uh, just just do a less hat series on the game and just you know hack whatever we come across. But I don't know yet. I, I may or may not do that. I, I don't know. But anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Also, I want to uh, throw a shout-out to my good friend Chuck Chapman over at Phone Productions. He's a very talented musician. There he is right here in the background. 
and he's also uh, got into acting here recently and they go into the dark side of pop culture uh, little short stories uh, that they do and uh, I want to throw him a shout out uh, go over to phone productions at YouTube and tell him Chris feet from cheat the game said hello I'll have the link for that down in the description also I want to give my uh, other friend a shout out uh, he hacks Facebook games I've been getting a lot of great questions in regards to hacking Facebook games I don't personally get into it that much and I got a ton of people over here but here he is right here and um, I want to throw him a shout out right quick and if you have questions in regards to hacking Facebook games he has a bunch of trainers out right for it right now you can go over and take a look uh, some are free some are not and uh, but it just depends and he does keep every one of his trainers up to date uh, Ken MC uh, go over and uh, give him a give him some love and give him some some subs also and uh, he will keep these trainers up to date and he's coming out with new ones every day and more and more and more vids coming out soon so uh, go over and give him the shout out also come join us over at the cheat the game Facebook page as you can see we've uh, We've increased in number up to 2612 but now and we would love to have you also we do require that your Facebook account be at least three months old it's just our efforts to keep out spammers but you can write us directly at CTG access 101 at gmail.com and if you request for us to please allow you in that you, your account is not three months old we'll probably go ahead and let you on in but uh, you would need to request that and we really appreciate all the support that you give us here at the Discord and on YouTube. I want to thank you guys so much. We're up to 6,000 subscribers on YouTube. And it's all thanks to you and your support uh, for that. I also want to thank my partners. Uh, these are the guys that have donated over at my Patreon. It only costs a, a dollar a month donation. Uh, we really appreciate it. It really helps us keep going. Helps me keep these videos coming out. More tuts coming out. Uh, if you could do that for me, it would really help me out tremendously. And I would really, really appreciate it, guys. And thank you all for what you do already and all your support. I really do appreciate it. But that's all I have time for uh, this go around. I know I'm keeping this short and simple. But uh, I really uh, want to go ahead and get this over to you. I, th I found it real unique. And I wanted to make sure that you guys uh, had access to that information so i'm gonna go ahead and cut on out of here you guys take care you keep on hacking most importantly please enjoy yourself that's really what it's all about you cheat the game because believe me, they don't mind cheating you you all take care